While we have a moment, we'll take a look at the tail of the tape between these two fighters, Omar Lee and Omar Estevez. Pretty evenly matched in terms of record. Pretty evenly matched in terms of their record of height. Their, of their records and heights. Yeah, a little, I don't, bit, I, a little bit of a reach advantage for Omar Lee. They're both about the same height. This fight is scheduled to take place at 152 pounds, but yesterday Omar Lee at the weigh-in weighed in at 156. And it's funny, I was asked, I, usually when I meet the fighters for the first time, Jason, I ask them if they have nicknames. So Omar says to me that his trainer, Giles Wiley from Jacksonville Muay Thai refers to him as the Muffin Man. And I said, why is that? He's like, you'll see when I weigh in. <laughs> so he comes in four pounds over. But Omar, es Omar Estevez, the game fighter that he is and the veteran that he is, he is decided not to make a, a stink about it and wanted to take the fight anyway. He's been waiting four years. Doesn't want to wait any longer. Had his first fight in four years, two weeks ago, but he's returning to Friday night fights for the first time since 2015 where he's fought so many times before. We know Omar Estevez as a trainer in recent years. He runs Estevez Muay Thai in Stamford, Connecticut. But of course he was schooled at the Seaton Gym in Queens, New York. And we should mention that this May the 3rd, 2019, the two year anniversary of the passing of Jay Matias, one of our favorite fighters and another great member of the Seaton family. So we send all our love and best wishes to the family of Jay Matias and of course, his Muay Thai family, which is right here with Friday Night Fights and, of course, at the Seaton Gym in Queens. So we send our best to everyone involved and everybody that remembers and loves Jay Matias. And you hear the big pop from the crowd here at the Broad Street Ballroom. And there he is, Omar Estevez, back, back in his old stomping grounds where he belongs on Friday Night Fights. I like watching this kid fight. I remember seeing him drop guys with body shots. Makes for an exciting fighter, that's for sure. It'll be a good matchup. Again, Omar Estevez fighting for the first time on this promotion since 2015, and the first time, I should say the second time in two weeks, after shaking off the ring rust two weeks ago with a TKO victory, he's now back. And the pinnacle of American Muay Thai Friday Night Fights. Now on the other side, we're going to get our first look on this promotion at Omar Lee, an impressive record of 14 and three with three knockouts. Fights out of Jacksonville Muay Thai in Jacksonville, Florida. Trains under crew Giles Wiley, who told me yesterday he's now going to move away from the Muffin Man nickname. He now wants the Muffin, Muffin Man nickname. He now wants to refer to Omar Lee as the Eel for multiple reasons. It's <laughs> eel is Lee spelled backwards, and it's also He's slippery, he's tough to contain, whereas the Muffin Man, as Giles puts it, is stupid and just walks forward. <laughs> so, a good sense of humor from the crew from Jacksonville Muay Thai, but also some very good fighters out of that school. And we'll see what Omar Lee brings to the table tonight against the veteran Omar Estevez. This is a good weight class, too, the 155, 154 weight. And always, you know, they got strong, they got, they got speed, they got power. It always makes for an exciting fight. For the introductions to our penultimate fight of the evening, Omar versus Omar, here's Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five rounds of action in the 152 pound weight division. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing the powder blue trunks and weighing in at 151 pounds. Representing Jacksonville Muay Thai with a record of 14 and three, three of those wins by way of knockout. From Jacksonville, Florida, Omar Lee. And fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he's wearing the blue trunks with the red trim and weighing in at 151 pounds. He trains at Seton Muay Thai with a record of 23 and eight. From right here in New York City, Omar Estevez. Here we go, Omar Estevez and Omar Ali set to lock up a five round full rules matchup. The Estevez family well represented here, of course. Omar and Joel at center ring awaiting Omar Ali. 
formerly known as the Muffin Man, now okay, known guys, as giving the rules. Give me a good clean According fight. They Giles make commands Wiley at all times, defend stuff at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean, do you understand? Mm -hmm. Have a great fight. Kevin Volhall with the final instructions for our two combatants. As we get set for a 152 pound battle, of course, Omar Lee Omar came in a little bit heavy, four pounds over, and Omar Estevez came in a pound under. The Estevez brothers embrace. Omar Lee awaits his latest challenge on the other side of the ring. There he is, native of St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands, now calls the sunshine state of Florida his home. And here we go. We're underway. Second to last fight of the night. Our main event still to come, Eric Luna and Jeffrey then in a championship matchup at 135 pounds at the pro level. But right here, it's Omar versus Omar at 152 and change. I like, I like how Lee's using that jab to kind of measure his opponent. Estevez kind of laying back a little bit and just kind of reading to see what his opponent's going to throw at him. Six-year age advantage for Omar Lee in the sky blue trunk, trunks with white trim, elbow, and a nice leg kick for Omar Lee. Push kick. Putting it all together there, Lee is. He's got the jabs, the kicks, snuck an elbow in there. Working on that leg early. Trying to slow his opponent down. Good strong block. He's got a good base to him. Broad shoulders, too. He's wide across the back. Yeah, Omar Lee seems like he'd be well suited to fight maybe even at 160. Yeah, definitely. He's a he's a stocky, strong looking boxer. I think Estevez is just kind of reading the territory, seeing what the body kick lands for Lee, but a straight left gets in there for Estevez. Nice combination. He lets those hands go so smooth. Estevez dumps Lee onto the canvas. I think Estevez is just taking his time and just seeing what his opponent has. Good hook, sneaks off to the side. And I think Estevez has seen enough. Lee goes up high with the right leg. That was a smart little move there. Backs him up, then pulls him back at him. Good ring generalship. Lee snuck a right hand through the guard and a push kick up, up top on Omar Estevez. Left hook though lands for Estevez. Outside leg kick Lee. Just a little bit more in that first round for Omar Lee, I thought. Yeah, I think so too. I think he was just more active, but I expect Estevez to turn it up as the fight gets going. You're watching Friday Night Fights. We're live from the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. Omar Lee and Omar Estevez locking up in a five-round battle, Omar Estevez making his first fight on Friday Night Fight since 2015. He returned to action after a four-year layoff two weeks ago, won by TKO, and now he's back where he belongs on the longest-running Muay Thai series in North America. And right there, nice punch combination. Great on combination, Lee. right? Sets it up with the hook, sneaks the uppercut, and then tries to go with the right hand over the top. And Omar Lee tied him up and neutralized his attack. To say that Omar Estevez is a crafty veteran would be a vast understatement. Oh, for sure. Not only a product of one of the most outstanding Muay Thai families in all the world, the Seton Gym in Queens, but also runs his own camp up in Stanford, Connecticut, Estevez Muay Thai. That's hard to run your gym and train for a fight. And that's what Omar Estevez was saying. It's just, it, he said his work and life got in the way of him doing yeah, what he you, loves, you, and you, that's the fight. Yeah, you do one, and the other one suffers sometimes. You focus on the gym, and he can't train. You focus on training, and the gym falls behind. I really like the gloves they're wearing tonight. The super rare gloves. Smooth looking gear for our fighters, as you would expect. Yeah, it's a great shop. They have one on the Lower East Side. I think they have one in LA. Great place to go. They're looking for boxing equipment, Muay Thai equipment, MMA equipment. Left jab to the body for Omar Estevez. Doubles up on the leg kick as well. Triples up. And he sneaks it in there nice and tight. He doesn't swing it too wide. He just brings that kick right up along the edge. And nice job by Omar Estevez anticipating the kick up high from Omar Lee. He's going to have problems getting grip on this canvas. Yeah, a little bit of a slippery mat tonight. We've seen that right there again. Yeah, definitely. Leg goes out from behind Lee. Estevez trying to
take the advantage, but it's Lee who turns him around and throws him down. Nice dump. Omar Lee, another guy with a poker face in there. Definitely. When you get to this level, you get this many fights in you. You don't usually show a lot of emotion on your face. You're so focused on the job at hand. It's like Estevez is trying to get that dump back. Wrestling match up against the ropes here, right in front of us here at ringside. Little things they're doing on the inside of the clinch too is really impresses me. Hip positioning, squaring their legs up, bumping with their hips to take the momentum off the knee. Left hook gets in there for Omar Estevez right at the bell. Sneaks it in right at the end. Omar Lee was trying to throw a big right hand and got caught with a hook on the inside. So again, kind of a kind of a, a, a slow tactical approach from Omar Lee in that second round, but I think Estevez may have had the more flashy moments at times, had that triple leg kick and then that left hook to end the, end the round. Each man was able to dump the other onto the canvas at one point. Wondering if Lee just a tiny bit stronger in the clinch because of that weight advantage yeah, that he has. Yeah, could possibly have that advantage due to the weight. Good inside leg kick there, chopping it in and out. And you can see a little bit of reddening on the inside of Omar Estevez's left leg, and that's been a consistent point of attack for Omar Lee. But good, good, good delivery from both guys in that round. Both guys did some damage. Back underway in round three now. Omar Lee in the powder blue trunks with white trim against Omar Estevez. Ooh, nice classic. elbow, slides classic. forward, slides that left elbow up the middle. Omar in the classic red and blue Estevez Muay Thai trunks. Now Omar Estevez comes forward. Lee's trying to bait him into that left elbow. You see that? He kind of walks backwards, and then when Estevez comes forward, he tries to sneak that left elbow up the middle. Estevez coming in, trying that left knee. Omar Lee trying to wrestle him back. Lee trying to switch knees, but Omar Estevez gets the cross face grip for just a moment. But just like Giles Wiley says, his student, Omar Lee, the eel, slipping away. Lee tries to go up high. Estevez walking right through it. And yeah, lands that right hand. Lee threw that right kick and landed out of his stance and walked right into a cross. Omar Estevez trying to seize control here in round three. Has Lee's midsection open for knees. Hey, just keeps pulling those hands above his head. Exposing those ribs so he can drive those knees home. Lee tried the elbow inside. Went for that body shot. Ooh. Left his head on the wrong side when he was throwing that punch and caught an elbow. It was an elbow, yes, coming down. Caught another one. Yes, Omar Lee now like responding. To, I like to see Omar bring his, <laughs> they're both Omar. I like to see Estevez bring his head across as he throws that right hand so he doesn't leave himself exposed for that elbow. Final seconds of round three. Lee There's tries the elbow shot. again, but Estevez going back to the body. There it is oh, again. Oh, big left hook from Omar Estevez. And some knees to cap things off at the end of round three. Tight battle we have here on Friday Night Fights between two experienced fighters. Very entertaining fight. I like how I threw that left hook to the body then attacked it again with those knees. Barely misses, there it was. He threw the push kick and that's what it was. He landed out of his stance. Stayed a little too squared up and caught that cross right down the middle. Estevez was oh. ready. Estevez was ready for that push kick try up top. Didn't do nearly the damage it could have. No, if he would have landed that, that could have been lights out. And Omar Estevez landed a couple of really nice hooks to the body there down the stretch around 3-2. And a nice inside elbow as well. This fight's up for grabs, folks. We're heading into round four of a scheduled five at 143 pounds. 152 pounds, I'm sorry. Omar Estevez came in a pound under. 
Omar Lee came in four pounds over. And Lee starts the fourth round with a body kick on Omar Estevez. You're watching Friday Night Fights live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom. Ari Lagami with Jason Strout. As we pen the latest chapter of the longest running Muay Thai series in North America, still to come, our main event of the evening, Eric Luna and Jeffrey then for the vacant 135 pound ISKA Pro Muay Thai title. But still business to tend to here as Omar Estevez tries to reclaim his crown on Friday Night Fights against Omar Lee. Couple of nice shots getting in for Estevez here, but Lee turns him into the ropes. Now it's Estevez bullying Lee into the neutral corner. Omar Estevez, the owner and head trainer at Estevez Muay Thai in Stamford, Connecticut. But he's training with his original family at the Seton Gym as he returns to his fight career. Omar Lee from Jacksonville Muay Thai. Just keeps sneaking that right elbow in there, doesn't he? Omar Estevez gaining ground here I think in round that four. body shots are taking effect, starting to sl <laughs> slip. <laughs> Sure what happened there, I and think he slipped. Unfortunate moment for Omar Estevez as he looked to have Lee in a vulnerable position in the neutral corner. Yeah, just keeps working the body with that hook and then and the, and the knee up the middle. Like I think it's starting to take effect on, on Omar Lee. There it is again, just keeps working it. Good right hand to the body. Bad position to be in. Omar <laughs> Estevez. Trying to overpower Lee now against the ropes. Bending his head back like a Pez dispenser. And he dumps Lee onto the canvas. Is Omar hurt? Lee looks like he's grimacing here. Yeah, something. Maybe got something. that arm pulled up awkwardly possibly as he was taken down, but no, maybe a leg injury here. His looks foot. like his leg. And Lee demanding the stool from Giles Wiley and Wiley not obliging. Oh, what if it's his... Let's Shin? take a look here down the stretch of round four. What happened as Omar Estevez sees his control of this fight? Got the left hook in, got an elbow in. Yeah, that right hand looks like it wobbled his feet a little bit there. Caught him right up over the top. That body shot. See, hits him in the temple. Taking a deep breath there. Now right here, oh. let's see. Right here. Pulling his head back. Yeah, maybe landed funny out of the clinch. I'm not sure. Maybe Lee just, just pulling back his on his head, possibly? I don't know. That could be it. Lee was definitely in some discomfort there at the end of round four. Let's see how he responds here in round five. I don't think he ever got the stool. I don't think he can sit down. Maybe his thigh hurts. Huh. We'll find out here in round five. So here we go. Two minutes left, potentially, in this outstanding battle between two veteran fighters. And great sportsmanship, as we always see in the Muay Thai ring. Got a little bit of a knot in his right leg, but I don't think that's it. Omar Estevez looking for his first win on this promotion since 2015. Omar Lee looking for his first win in his first appearance on this promotion. Nice knee up the middle by Estevez. Ends up on the ground, but I think his knee landed. Maybe his shoulder hurts. Pulling those arms above his head, maybe that affected him. Estevez try, trying to bully his way forward, but Lee overpowers him there for just a moment, throws him down. Good clinch on the inside. Good body position. That's where arm controls Estevez. Nice sneaking that left knee up the middle. And again, just keeps going to town with it. Kevin Mohal fixing the elbow pads of Omar Lee. Looks like Omar Lee's trying to take any chance he can to get a little bit of a rest there. Estevez has been coming forward for much of the latter part of this fight. That off nice body shot again. Oh yeah, left hook, you can hear it from here. He just digs with it. Estevez is good at that left hook to the body. And he just tosses it in there so smooth. There's no wind up. Couple knees up against the ropes. Into the midsection of Omar Lee. This fight has turned in Estevez's favor in a big way the last couple rounds. 
Let's see if we can close the show in style. Final seconds here. A five round battle for the veterans. Omar Estevez and Omar Lee. Omar Lee takes a look at the clock, see how much time is left. Can't start that too early. Estevez got in one more shot before the bell. And we go the distance on Friday Night Fights. Omar and Omar go all 10 minutes over five rounds. Fun fight there, Omar Estevez back at his old stomping grounds on Friday Night Fights as a fighter, not just as a coach anymore. See the throw down there from, o from Omar Lee, but that was more of a loss of footing for Omar Estevez. Have to see how the judges score this fight. Seemed like in the early going, it was Lee with the athleticism and the harder kicks, but down the stretch, Omar Estevez seemed to be the one dictating the pace. Yeah, definitely. He was landing some strong shots, heavy hooks to the body, and he was definitely work, outworking him in the clinch with those knees up the middle. We'll see what the judges have to say. Connor Hall has the scorecards in hand as the crowd at the Broad Street Ballroom anxiously awaits the decision here. For the winner of the Omar Bowl, we go up to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these guys. Five rounds, wow! Woo! Make sure you follow Friday Night Fights Muay Thai at FNFMT on Instagram. All right, now, let's get to it. After five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All judges see this, 47-48, unanimously in favor of Omar Estevez. Jason Stroud probably is an, an accurate as a decision as you can get, I would say. A 40, a three rounds to two win on all three judges' scorecards for Omar Estevez. He picks up a victory in his long-awaited return to the promotion. And I think it was Lee in control early, but the veteran Estevez, the, the trainer and coach and now fighter once again, Estevez kind of sees the moment down the stretch. Yeah, I think he took his time and... And, and, and had a good look at what Omar Lee had to bring and then kind of dissected it. And started picking him apart and, and applying his game plan as the fight went on. You know, a, a true veteran will do that. They'll, 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 they'll take a look and see what the opponent has to throw at them and they'll kind of see what works and what doesn't work and then they'll capitalize on that. So one more win for the Seton family. As we remember Jay Matias on the two year anniversary of his passing, congratulations to Omar Estevez, his brother Joel, and his fellow trainer Aziz Nabi, as well as Rami Ibrahim, who's in attendance tonight, also part of the Seaton family. A wonderful moment for them. You're watching Friday Night Fights, brought to you by O'Hegan Sun Resort and Casino. And folks, we are moments away from our main event of the evening. Eric Luna and Jeffrey then set the square off in a professional Muay Thai championship matchup at 135 pounds. Let's learn a little bit more about our two main event competitors. My name is Jeffrey Dunn. I'm from Danbury, Connecticut.